Hey there, welcome to our channel. Today, we have an exciting topic to discuss. We'll be talking about how to enable virtualization on your computer. Virtualization allows you to run multiple operating systems or software applications simultaneously, which can be incredibly useful for testing, development, or even just running multiple virtual machines. So, without further ado, let's dive right into it. Let us first check if virtualization is enabled or not. To do that, open the command prompt as administrator and run the system info.exe command. It is a built-in Windows command line tool that provides detailed information about the computer's hardware, operating system, and software components. To enable virtualization, the first thing you need to do is access your computer's BIOS settings. BIOS stands for Basic Input Output System and is responsible for initializing hardware components before the operating system starts. Different computers have different BIOS interfaces, but the steps we'll go through should be applicable to most systems. To access the BIOS settings, you'll need to restart your computer. During the startup process, pay attention to the screen as it usually shows a key or combination of keys to press to enter the BIOS. Common keys are F2, Delete, Escape, or F10, but it may vary based on your computer's manufacturer. Once you've identified the key, press it repeatedly until you enter the BIOS setup. To access the BIOS from within Windows 10 or 11, open the Start menu, then hold the Shift key then click on the Restart button. When the computer restarts you will see this screen. Click on Troubleshoot then click on Advanced Options. Finally click on UEFI Firmware this will take you to the BIOS. On an HP it will take you to a screen where you have to press F10 to enter the BIOS. Here we are in the BIOS setup screen. Remember, BIOS interfaces differ between manufacturers, so yours may look slightly different. Now, let's find the virtualization settings. Look for a section called Advanced or Advanced Features. I'm on an HP laptop and it shows system configurations in this section. You'll usually find the virtualization-related settings. Within the System Configuration or Advanced Features section, search for options like Intel Virtualization Technology, AMDV, or VTX. These options may have different names depending on your computer's processor. Once you've found the virtualization option, make sure it is set to Enabled. Use the arrow keys on your keyboard to navigate through the options, and press Enter to select and change values. After enabling the virtualization option, it's time to save the changes and exit the BIOS. Look for an option like Save and Exit, Exit Setup, or Exit and Save Changes. Select it, and your computer will restart with the new BIOS settings applied. Congratulations! You've successfully enabled virtualization on your computer. But before we finish, let's check if it's working properly. That's it, folks. Enabling virtualization on your computer is crucial for running virtual machines, trying out different operating systems, or running resource-intensive applications. Remember to access the BIOS settings and then enable virtualization. Thanks for watching. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel. This will help my channel to grow.